Right, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Pro Enzo Vids, and uh, they are back. They are back. The St. Helens reviews are back. Um, as you know, last year I had my St. Helens reviews every sort of uh, week when we played a game, and towards um, midway last year, I sort of um, yeah, sort of just lost track of the game. Sort of um, like work took away the time for me to watch the St. Helens games and Super League in general. That sort of just ruined my time of watching games in 2023. Um, but now I, I am trying to be a bit more committed to watching uh, Saints particularly play and, and watch Super League games in general too, um, because it's a you know great great game obviously not not as good as an RL obviously but I've always loved Super League and um, yeah it's been good to finally get a bit more active into watching it again. But um, yeah, but look as far as we go right now, um, this is my St Helens review beating London Broncos, uh, forty points to four. Now I will just say that. It's a win that wasn't um, unexpected because I think everyone knew that Saints would win. Uh, people were saying Saints were like 80, 70, 60, some crazy score lines there. But to London's credit though, they actually kept us towards only 40 points really. And for most of the game, we were kept at like 20 points up until the last 15 to 10 minutes when uh, Lomax scored, scored a try and then Matt Whitley got a double towards the end there too. So that sort of ruined um, <coughs> London Broncos momentum towards the end there, but we were just too good in the end and I think, um, yeah, uh, Paul Wellens should be pretty happy with that result, I'd say. But before I get into my full review, as always, please be sure to like this video and do subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Um, the new support recently has been crazy. It's been actually awesome to see how good the uh, the growth of this YouTube channel has been. So yeah, hopefully uh, that keeps expanding, keeps growing, and uh, yeah, um, you know, the more content I do, the more um, I feel like you guys enjoy it. So uh, it'd be good to do more Super League content as well. But uh, yeah, no, it's. You know, obviously it was a good game for, for St. Helens fans, obviously. I guess for a neutral fan, you wouldn't really find it entertaining, I guess, but that's fair enough. But, yeah, no, it's a good start to the season for Saints, obviously. First time about Maccabi Scrubs, Rook, and uh, James Roby. But at least, um, you know, we saw we saw the new recruit, uh, Daryl Clark, do really well too. He gave Alex Wormsley an early try too. Uh, the third try of the game, I think it was the third try of the game to Alex Wormsley. Uh, Daryl Clark had done half his starts through and then finds Wormsley back in space. And a guy that big might stop him close to the line. So Wormsley just crashed over and that made the score. Um, uh, was it 16 nil? I think it was. I think, I think we got the kick too. So yeah, 16 nil. Uh, the opening two tries were through Lewis Stodd in the five um, in the fifth minute, and then uh, after that it was um, Jack Wellsby, who I'm not shocked to score because I had a feeling he'd score in this game, and then after that, yeah, it was just an onslaught of tries for St Helens, obviously. Um, but the thing I like that Saints uh, Saints were though is that their attack seemed pretty good still. Like I know Roby was a big part of our attack and a really big influence to how we played our game, but. I think Daryl Clark really made things easy for us and did a good job at all, overall. And uh, I wasn't too sure about Daryl Clark at first coming over, but he seems to fit our system pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with how he went um, tonight over in England. Um, and yeah, I, I just thought our boys were really well. Like Wells was always consistent as always. Uh, Tommy Makinson scored a try and when, and when doesn't he score a try? Um, Wagga Blake was very good in debut too. I was really happy with how Wagga went. Um, a lot of people don't really know Wagga Blake too well in the Super League, I don't think. I mean, some do, but some don't. But um, yeah, on his day, he's a great player. Big centre, big body. Uh, just needs to find a bit more confidence with catching the ball and, and stuff like that. But he's going on his day, definitely. Uh, I think Saints are the right club to rejuvenate his career, I'd say. Um, but he went well. <clears throat> Johnny Lomax was fantastic as always. He scored a try towards the end there. Uh, got a few tries assists too, I think. And yeah, his running game, as always, is very dangerous as well. Um, but overall, the whole Saints team played really well. Like Bell, Siren, um, you know, you know, you know what you're going to get from those guys. Uh, hard work as always. And yeah, no, it was an overall good performance. Mark Percival, um, after re-signing with us for another three years, I think it was, or two years, uh, he had a good, good game too. So yeah, everyone played really well. I think everyone did their job. Obviously, London were strong at some points. They actually did pretty well at one point, London, uh, keeping us on our own line. But um, yeah, I think we're always going to win anyway. No, no disrespect to one London, but we were always going to win, I think. But London were, were all right. They did, they did their job. They did a some sort of uh, effort to try and uh, help um, help themselves keep us below 40, which they didn't, but they were close to. But um, yeah, I think Saints prevail at totally, totally wicked. And uh, yeah, I think, I think that's a result everyone's not too shocked about, I'd say. But if I was to give three players to as my best uh, three on ground, 
I'm going going with number three, Johnny Lomax. I'd say for, uh, the first one. Number two, I'm going with probably Tommy Makinson. And number one, I'm going with Matt Whitley. Um, I really think Matt Whitley was awesome for us. Um, yeah, I believe he only just came back to St. Helens too. Uh, and he signed with us recently. So good to see him have a big game and get a double too. So it was a very good start for Whitley back at Saints. But um, yeah, <clears throat> overall, result was not ex unexpected, obviously. Uh, we're always going to win this game. But uh, yeah, it's a good start to the season either way. But uh, thank you for watching. Please be sure to like this video. Uh, do subscribe to the YouTube channel too. And do comment your thoughts in the, game in the comment section down below. But as always, enjoy and have a good day.